a strange, sad tale, really, from the West Coast. There was a guy out there named, they called him Momo Adamo, A-D-A-M-O. For those of you who want it, it's 4134, where he lived, it was 4134 Limeer, L-Y-M-E-R Drive in San Diego. In 1955, the LA police arrested this West Coast hood named Jack Dragna. I'll do more about him later on. And uh, Momo Adamo, who was his, his underboss. So they searched Adamo and they find this confidential address book and it's got names, addresses, girlfriends' names and addresses, private phone numbers, everything of virtually every mob guy in the United States. That was a gold mine. It was an embarrassment for the West Coast, but it was a gold mine for the police and the FBI. Uh, his brother, Joe Adamo, was also a member out there. In 1950, the California Crime Commission re a report mentioned that Adamo, Jack Dragna, Tom Dragna, his brother, Louis Dragna, who was a nep nephew, and two other guys, both named Frank Paul Dragna, one was a son, one was a nephew, were all members of the LA Crime Syndicate who were responsible for the recent bombing of Mickey Cohen's house. Uh, they were all arrested, but they were released that day. What they did is they put a bomb under Cohen's house, uh, under his bedroom, and it blew up, and it, his bed went so high in the air, he hit his face on the ceiling. Then it smashed back down, but he lived. Uh, it was one of the many, many times they tried to kill that guy and just didn't work out. So anyway, there's an attorney, Frank D. Simone. The D. Simones are an old L.A. mob family. Uh, he became boss of L.A. Uh, following the death of Drag Jack Dragna in 1956. Try saying that fast. Adamo would be the new, would be his D. Simone's underboss. Uh, reportedly, let me tell you, I don't believe this. I think most people wouldn't. But the story is D. Simone raped Momo's wife, Maria, uh, who was then 44, supposedly in front of Momo. Uh, who was 60 at the time. Several days later, June 18th, uh, Momo beats his wife up pretty badly. They had a rented beach house. They took her down, they beat her really badly, struck her in the head with an empty wine bottle, and then shot her in the neck with a 32. Thinking he had killed her, he put the gun to his temple and killed himself. But he didn't kill her. She survived. She got up and ran to another house for safety. She would later on marry, by the way, Frank Bompensirio, who was just a few years later murdered by the mob with a shotgun as he talked on the phone in San Diego, I think. The actual reason for the murder of his wife, it was never made clear. Did you ever, when you were a kid, did you ever play telephone where one kid way down the end says one message and by the time it gets to the end, kid, 10 or five kids away, it's completely mangled? I think that's what we have here. It's my guess is she, the wife, was having an affair with the, the attorney, the new boss, Frank D. Simone. He's a handsome guy, smart guy. Why not? And I think that's what it was. That obviously, you know, it probably isn't supposed to happen. It mobbed them, but it, I think it did. They may have had a fight. The wife and Momo had a fight, a yelling argument. And she said, oh, yeah, well, I slept with Frank D. Simone. And he got mad and shot her to death. I, to me, that's more than probably what happened. That, that, that an attorney would rape a mob guy's wife. And I, I don't know. That, that's, I don't know about that.